Hey guys, Mike here at MS Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. All right, well today we're going to do a rigging video and we're going to rig doors and windows, opening windows, slide windows and doors, okay? And we're not only going to rig them, we're going to rig them in a way that we can limit uh, movement, okay? So we're going to define a range, uh, for example, on the slide window, how far it can open, how far it can close. So you don't run into situations where it's going to slide all the way up through the wall and so forth, all right? Cool. So let's start at the beginning. Uh, we have a wall with um, a door. We got a window that opens like this. And we got a window that slides up like this. Okay. So we're just going to put everything back in its original position. Now, what do you need to do to start with to make sure that it's going to hinge in the right place? So let's start with the door. Now, normally on a door, you would have to decide whether it's going to open to the left or to the right. But anyway, there are a number of hinges on a door. Now, let's say in this situation, they're on the right side and there's one up here and one down there. OK, now what you want to do is you want to move your pivot point so it's in line with where the hinges would be. So, in fact, where the door would actually uh, swivel or rotate. OK, so from the front view, if we look you can see that my pivot point is right there. Now, if you want to move it, you hit the insert key on your keyboard and you can move it to, let's say there. So now if I were to rotate my door, it would do something like that. That's obviously not what we want, okay? So we're gonna go back and we're gonna hit the insert key. We're gonna move our pivot to roughly just between the door and that side there. And then from the top view, which is very important, hit F to zoom in. You don't want your pivot point to be in the middle of the door, and I'll show you why. If I now were to rotate my door, the wood of the door will cut into the frame, as you can see. And that's something that we don't want. So we're going to hit Control-Z to go back. We're going to go to our top view. And you're going to move your pivot point to literally where normally the hinge would be. So let's say there and then slightly outside of the door. OK, so now if we hit E to rotate, it's going to be a door that opens clean. OK, control Z to go back. Now, I did exactly the same for these windows and for this one. OK, and go back and then for our slide window, this one is only moving up. OK, so like that. Now, what did I mean when I talked about limiting information? What you don't want is for your window to be able to move straight through the roof, for example, right? Or for your door to be able to rotate all the way around like that. OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, make sure that we can't rotate this guy because that's not one of our options. OK, so we're going to decide on what we're going to do with this door, which is only move translate value Y, as you can see up here. So we're going to lock everything else. So we're going to hit Control Z to go back. It's translating in Y. So we're going to click on this and we're going to Control click on everything else so the skill and all that kind of stuff right and we're going to right click and we're going to go to a lock selected so now if i select this guy and i want to hit e to rotate it i can't if i hit r because i want to scale it i can't the only thing i can do is i can select it and hit w and i can move it in this direction if i want to move it to the left again i can't so that's a good start okay we limited the movement and next, what we're going to do is we're going to limit the range of movement. First, we're going to do the same with our door here. So we're going to hit E to rotate. It's rotating in Y. So we're going to select this, right click, lock selected. We're going to select this and lock selected. We're going to go to our window, hit E to rotate. Okay. Now this is rotating in Y as well. 
So we're going to control Z to go back. And we're going to take these values, right click, lock selected, and these as well. And let's just check that, hit E, yeah, we're good. And finally, on this window that is rotating in a negative Y. Okay, so we're going to select all of that, right click lock selected. And we're going to take that as well and lock selected. So that's one part of it. Now, the next part is, okay, so I can open my door, but how do I limit it so that it's not going to open and go all the way through my wall like that, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to hit Control A to pull up our attribute editor. We're going to select our object. In this case, my polycube one is my door, okay? And in that list, you have a limit information tab. So we're going to click on that. And I want to limit information on rotation because that's what we're doing, right? Now here, one of these are, these are blue, so they're locked. This one says the current value is zero. Now that is my minimum uh, value that I want to use, okay? So I'm gonna hit this arrow and I'm gonna translate the zero value over here. So now I can't move further than zero. I shouldn't be able to, let's see. Just give me one sec. Okay, so we're going to rotate outwards and let's see how far we want the door to rotate. Let's say, I don't know, 120 or so. So we're going to click on this guy and we're going to do 120 right there. So our minimum value is zero. Our maximum value is 120. Now let's put that back in. Okay, and it's, it's shutting at zero, which is good and it's stopping at 120. So that's how you limit that information. <clears throat> we'll do one more. I'll just close the door here. We'll take the slide window, all right? Now, we know that it's if we hit W, it's gonna move up and down, and we want to set the values. If I haven't already done that, let's see. We're gonna go to our translate. Looks like I already did, okay? so. 3.67, as you can see in the middle, is my minimum value. When I move it down, it says current value, so 367, and that's what I set as my minimum. And when I move it up, it stops at 5.39, which again is my current value. So now I can do nothing else but open or close this window or go somewhere in between. I can't go through the window frame and so forth, right? And obviously, okay, let's do this one as well. Here, the only thing I can do is rotate it. Okay, I got my cube selected. I'm gonna look at my rotate values because that's what we're doing. And again, I have a minimum value of 2.19 and that's when it's shut and 118.16 when it's open. Okay, well, there you go. That's all there's to it. So have fun with that. If you have any questions, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching and I'd love to see you guys again.